Hi guys, this is Nelare Studios. Welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Parallax Toolbar Scroll View. Uh, this is from the Android Observable Scroll View. So we'll be adding the parallax effect uh, to the uh, toolbar. You know, uh, this is part of the Android Material Designs. Okay, I'll be moving straight to Android, Android Studio, which is my development environment, uh, where we'll be talking about uh, the codes. Okay, I have here the Gradle scripts, uh, the Build Gradle project session, and also the Model app. In the Build, uh, in the Model app, I still keep to my dependencies: the App Compact version seven, the Android Observable Scroll View one point five point zero, and the nine old Android libraries. Okay, uh, in the project session of the Build Gradle, uh, I have the last part one point five point zero. Okay, that's fine. So I'll be looking at the rest. Uh, the layout files of this uh, parallax application. I'm still maintaining the source files from the previous uh, tutorial on the flexible space scroll view, which I only have an inclusion or let me say a difference in the activity uh, parallax toolbar scroll view. That's the only activity that will be different from the previous source files. Okay, uh, let's get to look at this uh, activity parallax toolbar scroll view XML. It's a frame layout with a layout with a night match parent. Uh, I need to include the uh, the observable scroll view, view view viewport, which is true. Uh, a relative layout follows afterwards with the layout with a night match parent and wrap content. An image view follows with an ID called image, and also uh, the layout width is match parent. The height now is calling from the dimension the dimension uh, folder. Which is parallax image height okay and the drawable is from the example uh, i'll get to show you this picture uh if you follow with an id called anchor uh, also calling from the dimension uh the height and the minimum height is also calling from the uh dimension as well the text we follows with an id called body and uh the part the padding the padding bottom left right and top are all from the dimension uh, with the string text of Lipsium, you know, it's just like a dummy text. You can decide to change this to a more appropriate uh, text uh, field. Okay. I close it with relative layout and the closing observable scroll view because it's going to have a scroll view effect. You should be able to scroll it up and down. Okay. Uh, while the parallax takes uh, effect on top of it. Okay. Right uh, inside the layout, I included the gradient header. Okay. And also the version seven widget toolbar uh, tag, you know, where I call on the app theme style toolbar. I close the frame layout. Let's get to see the design view uh, in the initializing rendering uh, library. Uh, let's see the UI of the uh, activity parallax toolbar scroll view. Fine. This is how the application is actually going to sit. Uh, we have the Ipsium text and the scroll view effect on this text. And the picture is right on top of this. So there is going to be a parallax effect on this toolbar with the picture that's just where the effect is going to you know, hold uh, in place okay uh, we'll be going to our java classes uh, where we still maintain the about activity the base activity the main activity uh, the simple header recycler adapter and the simple recycler adapter but I'll be looking at the parallax toolbar scroll reactor uh, activity that's the only different uh, class from the previous uh, source files. Okay, we get to include uh, the observable scroll view, the observable scroll view callbacks, the scroll states, the scroll utilities, and the view helper. Uh, the parallax super scroll view activity still extends the base activity and implements observable scroll view callbacks, where we still have our views declared. Uh, the uncreate method call on the activity, uh, XML, and also uh, the support action bar to bar was done on it. Uh, now uh, we still are uh, uh, okay. This is where the instance instantiation of the oops. okay. Uh, this parallax image height. You no, know, I want you to get to look at this very well. Where we get its resources, uh, we get the dimension, pixel size, and also. From the dimension uh, XML, we also got the parallax image height. Okay, uh, this is where the parallax image uh, effect is being uh, 
included in the action bar. Also on the scroll view, uh, we need to set a scroll view callback yeah, to the scroll view. Okay, other methods are being uh, intact, the on restore instance state, the on scroll change, on motion down event, and on up cancel motion event. No, that's still ma being maintained. All right, I'll be looking at my manifest, the Android manifest where uh, we have uh, the included activity. Uh, the parallax toolbar scroll view you know this activity is very very important you need to include the ensuing activity from the main activity okay uh i'll be stopping here in uh, explaining the source file and i'll be uh uploading the source file also to my github account and i'll be showing this in the android emulator so that you get to see how the application actually flows Okay, we now have our application, uh, the parallax toolbar scroll uh, in the Android emulator, whereby we have the list parallax toolbar scroll view activity. Okay, click on this, should take us to uh, the, the flexible space, whereby we have the picture, and also we have the uh, text right uh, below. Okay, and we get to see this picture. Okay, and we have a text right here. So what is the parallax effect there? you get to see the parallax effect. Let's scroll to the top. Notice the top bar. Okay, can you notice this? It's already taking a shadow effect on the picture, right? This is what they call parallax, whereby uh, there's going to be a sort of background, you know, a picture background right on the layer. The layer will actually show around the same time the background also will reflect, you know, based on the transparency level until it gets to full focus. You now, why still scroll it up? Now it takes up. Can you see the parallax effects still on the flexible space until it takes full uh, control, uh, full effect of uh, the, the the top bar? Okay, that's just what the parallax is. Uh, parallax effect has been added to uh, different uh, kind of application. Even up to the website, you know, we have a lot of parallax in the website. A video can be underneath, and this uh, text will be flowing right on top pictures that can be underneath as a background and text will continue to flow right on top. It's very, very smooth and very appealing to the to the eyes, you know, when you get to see parallax effects in display. All right. Uh, thank you very, very much, my good listener, for hanging out with me throughout this uh, tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.